Come here, buddy. Ooh. You need a bath. You laying in the mud, look at you all crispy. You laying in the mud. Dirty, filthy horse. Easy big fella, easy big fella. Uh, today, I'm gonna be doing some installs on the Toyota Tundra, um, and I'll bring you guys kind of along for the, the journey. I'm not really sure, I haven't done any research on how to do this yet, but it is a cool little mod. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we added solar panels to the, the Prinsu rack, the roof of this Toyota Tacoma behind me. And today we're gonna add solar panels from the same company, Cascadia 4x4. We're gonna add a solar panel to the Tundra. And the benefit of these solar panels is that you can run your accessories like a fridge or air compressor just right off of your truck's battery and then rely on solar power to recharge your truck. So if you're doing off-grid stuff like, like camping or overlanding, well, you always have a renewable source of energy recharging your truck, which is gonna reduce the likelihood that we're gonna need to jumpstart our truck. We recently put a Dobinson's 3.5 inch lift kit on the rear and just a puck on the front of this Tundra so that we could add these 37s. And it's running Relation Race Wheels um, RR7s and they look really, really good with these KO2 tires. And I've been very, very happy with how the truck's performing and how it looks and how it sits. In the near future, I'll end up putting coilovers on it and uh, because the front does ride a little stiff. But uh, so far, it's been, it's been really comfortable. We need to get a winch in the front as well. Hopefully before uh, the weather turns and we have snow because I have a feeling like I'm gonna take this thing, I wanna take this thing snow wheeling and I have a feeling that I'm gonna need the winch. So I should get a winch in this thing pretty soon. So the, the, the last solar panels I mounted were on the roof of the Prinsu rack. This one today is actually gonna go right on the hood. It's, a, it's almost like a decal. So it has a really cool look to it, um, but it's also functional. So I imagine I'm gonna have to start by getting the hood of this truck clean. Uh, and I have been kind of putting off this install because I don't really, uh, I'm afraid to, to get it even and level and perfect on there and mess it up. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think it'll be a fun little project this week. It's perfect since I've been sick all month long. It's nice just to get outside and get some fresh air and uh, to make a little video. I haven't looked at any tutorials in regards to how to install this, but I think it's gonna be pretty straightforward. I'm not looking to do anything too crazy or complicated today as I'm still recovering and feeling pretty tired. Do not bend panel, keep as flat as possible. Oops. Now I kind of thought that this solar panel for the hood was gonna be flexible. Okay. No, it's not. Oh, it's, it's somewhat flexible. It has like this 3M tape that goes around it to glue it to the hood. Oh yeah, that's cool. So there you go. You can see it. It's got this cool pattern. It almost looks like carbon fiber. And it goes on the hood and, and these can almost just look like a hood decal, but in fact it's actually a functional solar panel that keeps your battery topped off. Found this vinyl wrap here that you're supposed to apply to the hood first. Now I think it's to maybe protect the paint underneath the panel if like you were to take it off in the future. Because it's smaller than this panel and it almost seems like it's literally just so that you can get your measurements figured out. But it's a big extra step that requires me to have a heat gun and I don't have one. And it also requires me to have a second person help me out, which is annoying. So it does say in the, in the instructions that there's options for like mounting it if you don't have this 
decal. And so I think I'm just gonna skip it, to be honest. It, the other thing too that I'm doing that's kind of wrong is that it's pretty cold outside. It's supposed to be at least 65 degrees. So I'm really winging it here. I'm gonna do my best, but. Ooh, that's neat. It's really contrasted deeply on the silver. It really stands out. There's a bit of a line here I could line it up with. I don't think people go all the way back over that line, so you'd have to bend the panel. So it's gotta be. It's gotta be like that. It's pretty cool looking. In order to clean the hood really good, make sure that my 3M tape sticks, I'm gonna hose her down with a glass cleaner. I'm not following the instructions word for word, and if it if it blows up in my face, it's gonna be my fault. Um, it's just 3M tape sticking to a, a clean hood, you know? It's a pretty simple and straightforward installation. So now, I'm gonna try to get this thing about where I want it, and I'm gonna look for references on the hood, like this line, and uh, try to find a good spot where I'm happy with it. And then I'm gonna take a dry erase marker and I'm gonna mark kind of where this is so that I can go around and put the adhesion promoter on it and then place it back on there. So this was probably the most time consuming part of the entire install, measuring these points of reference on the hood. So I found these lines going down the hood and I would just measure top to bottom, side to side, multiple times over and over until I could find the exact dead center. We want the adhesion promoter to go exactly where the 3M tape is located on the solar panel. So if I draw this line, I can put the adhesion promoter on the inside of that line and I know that my panel is going to stick down securely to the hood. I'm really excited about this mod. It was very easy and fun. It looks great and I'm looking forward to the added security of being able to recharge the battery with just solar power. This video is brought to you by Heretic Studio who makes the highest quality LED lights that I know of and they have a lifetime guarantee and I love the way they look being that they're milled out of solid blocks of American aluminum and they use the highest quality chips and processors in their light bars. You probably won't have a problem with these lights but if you do you can send them in and they'll return it back to you completely repaired for free these guys are awesome they're located in Salt Lake City and I love them they've been amazing for me on my channel and I know that they'll take great care of you as well so check out heretic studio LED lights and let's get back to the video so I've got I've got my panel flipped over here and uh, I'm just going to get the red film coming off this 3M tape, just get it started a little bit. There we go. Okay. So, I don't want to disrupt my dry erase marker or bend the solar panel. This is gonna be a little bit tricky. Ruby. The guys are probably watching this video just cringing, but that's okay. We do things a little differently around here. I've been sick for a month. I'm not trying to drag this out. I want to get it. I want to get it on here. I'm excited. Now I, I'm pretty sure that the vinyl that you put down. You know, it could be to protect the paint underneath. They did a pretty good job putting foam underneath here. I'm not too worried about it. Like, if this were to come off, you could probably buff the hood and it would probably be fine, whatever. I don't think it's gonna be scratched or anything like that. It, it looks to me more based off of the instructions. It seems like it's more for the people that are extremely like anal. They wanna be damn sure that their, their investment, the panel that they bought is perfectly centered and that they don't mess it up in any way. Uh, me, I'm, I, I don't worry about things so much. If it's, if it goes on there and it's, uh, within a few sixteenths, I think it's gonna be okay. Man, I'm noticing now. I've just I haven't looked at my hood this clearly, but I got some dents in my hood already. This aluminum dents so easily. And before I tape it down, I'm gonna just read measure real fast. And as we pull it out, just sort of stick her down. Good. 
couldn't be any easier. Really pushing that 3M tape on there. And I bet you that shit's never going anywhere. Gosh, I can't believe how spongy this hood is. One of my complaints with this truck, I mean, I understand they did it for weight savings, but like just the sheet metal so thin, it dents really easily. I've had a few rocks hit the hood and dent, but like you can see the hood like fluctuate in the wind. Uh, when you drive, it literally shudders. Um, so I didn't really, I didn't really get this panel to like combat that, but it, it, it's distracting. It drives me nuts. You just see it glimmer um, in the wind, and so maybe this will, maybe this will cut down on that little glimmering, shining undulations that I've grown to be super annoyed by. Let's get these stickers off of here on camera but if you look really really closely you can kind of see a slight gap if you go through and press really really hard you'll be able to smush down the very edge of that 3m tape and it should seal nice and tight here and you shouldn't see any of that there's some glue or something on the panel itself that seems to come off provide a nice clean looking edge but yeah if you go push your finger down really tight prevent any dust or anything from getting in there and I don't think we're gonna have any trouble with this panel at all okay so we got the panel stuck on there it looks pretty good now we got to go pop the hood of the tundra um, I believe is this right here? and it's time that we wire up our control panel now I had to jump start a guy yesterday the battery's right there um, it's nice and clean under this engine bay. Well, not clean, clean, but like, like it's dusty. But it's a nice, it's a nice looking engine bay. You know, they got it very well organized and easily accessible. Of course, it's just because it's a little V6 under here, twin turbo. All right, so I got to figure out where I want to put this panel. It's got 3M tapes, which make it super easy to install. And then the plug-ins are really nice waterproof connections that just go on really quick and easy. Um, it's got a little inline fuse. Perfect. All right. Just gonna figure out where I'd like to put this thing. I think I might just put it right here. There's a nice flat spot on the side of the fender here. Of way more cord than I need, but it'll be kind of tucked down and hidden. I think that'll work great. I need to clean some dust out from there first so that this sticks. Okay, that's why they have a second adhesion promoter package. So you put that on in there. Let's figure out where I want all this excess. So long. Women are interesting creatures. So it's Desiree's birthday this month and uh, she really enjoys red light therapy. And uh, I saw this um, machine, they call them a vampire machine. Oh, she's, she's come out, she's come out of it. There she is. You like it? <laughs> so I got her this uh, red light therapy machine. It, it rejuvenates skin cells and hair growth and it helps keep you young apparently. It was very expensive but worth it for my wife, you know, because it, it really improves her mood when she goes to red light therapy. So I thought she might want to be able to do it every day in her office. So <laughs> it's really funny seeing her just bask in it. It's like, it's like all the benefits of tanning without the actually like darkening of your skin or the cancer I think I hope um, all right so uh, let's finish up this let's finish up this truck so the rest of this is pretty straightforward we need to route this cable like, directly back and then kind of into the hood and across and down and the way that we do that is with these little stickies that are gonna go on here 
and that allows us to zip tie. It's just kind of a pain getting in here. But I'm just gonna stick with this like that. There's no like graceful way to do this, I should say. You kinda just have to climb in here and go for it. that our hood scoop is complete well sorry our hood our hood solar panel not a hood scoop a solar panel and there's just this little cord that kind of loops in there that is rad that turned out pretty good guys we did it Looks sweet. I really like it. I really like the way it looks. It looks aggressive. It looks like a almost like a um, an appearance modification, but it's actually functional. And it's going to allow us to run more more power directly off the battery, and it looks really square, and nice. All right. Cool. All right, there you go, guys. We got our Cascadia 4x4 solar panel mounted to the hood. I'm actually really happy with it. Uh, it looks really good. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to say about it. It's gonna be charging the battery. Right now, I don't have any like accessories running off of it, but sure enough, I'll be plugging in my Dometic fridge pretty soon and doing long distance excursions. And that's when this thing's really going to come into handy. Uh, it's going to be able to keep the battery charged uh, just purely off of solar and to be able to combat that extra use when the fridge is running off of the battery or, or the, the the um oh i spaced out there for a second i am so tired uh, i was trying to i was trying to recall what the specs are on this thing and i think i'm just going to put them up on the screen because i'm still way too out of it i'm doing my very best to get videos out this month because i'm still um I'm still dragging. This was the perfect project. It was very easy install. It's literally just stickers, guys. So like anybody could do this. It's all just stickers and zip ties. So uh, I highly suggest it. It's a fun little easy mod. It looks great. It adds extra uh, power, electrical power, of course, not horsepower, uh, to your vehicle so that you can kind of go off, off grid for longer periods of time. But this was the perfect project to kind of work on and, and kind of get back in the saddle after a month of being sick. It wasn't COVID, it's, it's a bacterial infection that Sterling brought home from school. It knocked us all out and it was, it was legitimately scary. Normally on these simple install videos, I like to go out with the family and go film something else for the day. Or, but uh, I really have nothing else for you guys today. I'm just, I'm gonna go back to bed. I'm tired. I might hang out here with Cowboy for a bit and uh, wash his mane. He's been rolling in the dirt. Um, but just spend some time with my guy here. Oh, buddy. I'm happy to see him eating his hay. That's it for today's video. Get some work done this week. Don't forget to make